When a client comes to us for the first time and is thinking about an implementation of blockchain technology, there are a couple of basic questions that they want answered. Firstly, maybe a question of whether the technology is going to work for them from a legal and a regulatory perspective. And often that will be a global discussion. So you may develop a, a product or a usage in one part of your business and then have to work out if you can roll it out on a global basis. And I'll try and give you a sort of practical example of that around data privacy. So a very common question that a client will have is what are the potential unintended consequences for us if we choose to move to a blockchain system? And that's a really tough question to answer. You need to spend a lot of time with that client to really understand how they're thinking of using the data, what uses they might put it for. But one that comes up very commonly is data privacy. It's a vastly changing area. We've had new laws introduced in Europe, particularly that are different from and not as compatible with the laws that we have in some other parts of the world. We've seen calls in Asia, for example, for similar types of data privacy laws. Any client who wants to institute a global system using blockchain that stores either client, customer, or even employee data is potentially going to have to think about three, four, 20 different data privacy regimes that it's going to have to deal with. And blockchain presents some particular issues because the whole concept of blockchain is it's permanent immutable data. If you have a system that requires you to forget data after a period of time, how do you do that? Well, the good news are there's some great technical solutions that are developing, but certainly for a general counsel, the first question is really, you know, what are the positive benefits? Are they real? That's a very genuine question that we are with the tech people well placed to answer because we've seen a number of different implementations. What are the risks, either the ones I'm thinking about or the ones that I'm not thinking about? And then the third one is often the hardest one. What are the unintended consequences of us using this technology? And I'll give you a, a practical example. One area that we're looking at more and more is around product liability. One of the implementations of blockchain that we're seeing a lot of interest in is supply chain management. The idea that you could put your global supply chain on a single blockchain would give you incredible efficiencies. You could see if you were running out of a particular widget, you could order that, introduce it into your supply chain, check it through. But thinking about unintended consequences, the ability to prove that a particular company manufactured a particular item that went into a particular product has all kinds of consequences whether it's for sanctions laws, because the US in particular has requirements that US technology should not be used in particular ways in particular countries that breach US sanctions regulations. But also if there was a, a mechanical failure or some kind of failure of a product and the component could be traced back to an individual company who manufactured that, even to an individual batch, that has all kinds of consequences for the liability and risk of people manufacturing those products. And those are the questions that we're thinking about at the moment and trying to help our clients get ahead of.